righty, ladies and gentlemen, a little early morning video, just sick, fucking tired and bored with WWE. WWE is beyond fucking boring at this point. Watching this shit last night, I felt so burnt out, so fucking tired. It's like watching a very, very boring movie that you've seen before. You don't want to watch it again. You just fall asleep on it. That's what it feels like. It's that feeling amplified by 500. It's just... It's so fucking hard to just watch. It's beyond fucking boring. Okay? I haven't reviewed Raw the past couple weeks, I thought tonight's the night, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna get back into the reviews. Can't fucking review it, can't fucking do it, cause the show just sucks fucking cock. Big, hard, tick, fucking cock, alright? Terrible. 10 o'clock, I had enough. I had enough. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. Fuck him. I've seen it before. Fuck him. I, uh, fuck, man. I was beyond dead tired, man. Okay? And Kevin Owens, the new champ, gets beat up right off the bat. And he's still stuck in, in the tag team storyline with Chris Jericho. How is this going to work? The world champion stuck in the Santino Morella style storyline. How the fuck can this work? Okay. Um, and it ends with Roman Reigns boy coming out to make a statement. Well, he doesn't make a statement. Motherfucker hasn't talked in two months. He just stood there. That's it. There's our big star. He just fucking stands there and does shit. Praise this man, he's a god there. Fucking bullshit. Okay? Gallows and Anderson with the New Day. Gallows and Anderson. Uh, after this, I'm like, fuck this, I'm going to sleep. Fuck this fucking crap. Gallows and Anderson doing some unfunny, boring retirement gimmick. They want to retire the New Day. This would actually work if New Day were old. The kind of shit they did to Ric Flair back when Flair was getting too old. And people would act like old men with Ric Flair. You know what I'm saying? But they're doing this with the New Day and it makes no fucking sense. It's three goofballs dressed up like old man New Day or whatever, New Day comes out to beat them up. Not funny, not in the fucking slightest. Enzo and Big Cass doing fart jokes and gas jokes. Recently I did a joke E-Fed promo doing fart and gas jokes. Because it's not meant to be taken seriously. I'm just fucking around, you know. Shits and giggles. I look at the biggest company in wrestling. And they're doing fart jokes and gas jokes. The biggest company. Is that what they're doing as material? And sadly, my fart and gas jokes were funnier than theirs. Straight up, man. And then you have Enzo and Cass pretending to give birth to a baby or something. It's an invisible baby. And none of it is funny. It's not fucking funny, man. Okay? Even the shit that's supposed to be good. It's Chris Jericho against Seth Rollins. Oh, my God! Seth Rollins, Jericho, God! I'm sitting there, I'm fucking bored to death. Bored to fucking death. I mean, seriously, I don't know if you, if how you guys feel. You get a, a match like this, are you marking out? Are you on the edge of your seat for a match like that? Me, I'm just sitting there bored. Beyond fucking bored there. 
And they had like four squash matches on this show there. Bo Dallas is back. He's got this aggressive gimmick, the same gimmick that Ryback was doing just before getting released there. He's aggressive, he's beating up a jobber. And instead of Bo Leave, it's Bo Leave and Bo. And he looks like a huge motherfucking jobber. I'm not interested in Bo Dallas squash matches there. You had fucking Nia Jax again. Braun Strowman fucking squashing people, shit like this there. And yeah, I don't know. A, a woman's revolution. And they're burying Dana Brooke, calling her Miss Piggy like they did to Mickey James in the past, you know. Woman's revolution, my fucking ass. This show was beyond fucking cheap. Beyond cheap, man. I don't know what the fuck there, but this is bad. It is bad. I cannot watch a three-hour Raw anymore just to make a video to get 2,000 views there. It's not fucking worth it. Not worth it at all. Beyond cheap. The opening segment. Oh, fuck, man. The myth. Oh, holy shit. Set rolling. Good guy. It just looks like bad acting to me. Where the fuck was Triple H? The game came back. He, he gave the belt to Kevin Owens there. And where the fuck is he? Where is Triple H? Why wasn't he on the show? You know what I'm saying? Instead, you get Roman at the end just standing there. You know, where's the entertainment here? There's none. Fuck all, a bunch of garbage squash matches. Cheap, pathetic skits that are beyond lame. Unfunny, just beyond fucking lame. And now Kevin Owens getting buried right off the bat. He's running away from Reigns at the end. He's stuck in the Santino tag team gimmick. Where the fuck are they going with this trash? This is trash. This show has turned into complete and utter trash. Straight up, man. Straight up. Sasha Banks is back. Oh my God, who gives a flying fuck? Who cares, man? This show was complete garbage. The company is fucking super stale, super fucking cheap. They're not doing fuck all to entertain us. I cannot watch a three hour Raw anymore. You got something you want me to see or to talk about, let me know because I'm only going to watch parts of this shit like you guys do. I'm going to spend 20 minutes watching it on YouTube. Can't sit there for three hours torturing myself with garbage, cheap, fake entertainment. And you know why? Just so I can tell people, oh, I'm a good wrestling fan. Wrestling sucks fucking cock there. When wrestling gets good again, then I'll, I'll be a good wrestling fan. Because right now it sucks fucking cock and I'm beyond bored with that fucking bullshit. Until next time, peace.